Hi, this is Dr. Don, and this, I hope, will be another short video showing you how to solve a one-way ANOVA problem using StatCrunch. And in reality, this problem is essentially solved for you. Uh, they give you a statement of the problem that we're looking at. In the problem, uh, we're told that there were seven states, so that tells us that's a categorical variable. And the quantitative that we need uh, is the property value, and they're looking at the discounted, uh, the difference between the value of the property if it was not in a contaminated region versus the value if it is in the contaminated region. So we've got a, a single categorical with seven levels and uh, one quantitative, which is what we need. The first thing is give the null an alternative, and that is always for the one-way ANOVAs that at least two of the means differ is the alternative. The null is that there is no difference in any of the means. And then they give us the ANOVA table. They say use alpha of 0.1. And then the next thing, what is the rejection region? Um, the way we get the rejection region we need for the, this is an F distribution, always a right tail. We need the numerator and the denominator degrees of freedom and they give it to us in the ANOVA. The first degrees of freedom states is the numerator and then the error term 70 is the denominator. So let's call up StatCrunch and find this critical. Okay I have StatCrunch and remember for the F distribution we just go stat calculators F and we bring up the dialog box and as I said the first uh, value for states, the categorical uh, variable is 6, that's the numerator. The error is the denominator, and we always want the right tail, remember, and we're given 0.1 for the probability, our alpha, click on compute, and we get 1.86, greater than 1.86. So that's that part of the uh, answer. Again on this one they've already worked it for us. What's the F statistic? It's given right there 2.04 gives us the proper uh, the p-value 0.072 um, since the p-value is less than alpha that tells us to reject the null and also since the f-value is greater then it's to the right of, it's in the rejection. Let's see, 2.04 is right here. So that's in the rejection area. That also tells us to reject the null. So that's our conclusion. We reject the nail, null. There's sufficient evidence to conclude there's at least two states that differ. And there's a way that we can uh, tell which are which, but I'll show you that in another video.